Well, we made it, Scott Brasbitt. We are here. And we have tickets. And Acadiana, once again, you have knocked it out of the park, right? Uh, we have, look, good job, look, Luke. Look. There, see, it's like thumbs up, everyone, for what you did here in Acadiana. You know, we sold out, which is such an amazing feat yeah. for the St. Jude Dream Home. And all of that money is going to help the kids of St. Jude. I mean, we couldn't ask for better support here at Acadiana. No, and year after year, Acadiana, you continue to turn out and show up. You know, we have a vested interest. We all know somebody. We all know a St. Jude patient or a St. Jude family. And you continue to show up. We have sold out. And so over the course of the next 58 minutes, we will tell you some great stories, sing some praises, and maybe pull a prize or two as well. Like we always like to say, you may win a prize, though you will most definitely save a life. Yes. Yeah. So let's make let's sure everything. Let's get started, guys. Should we, uh, <laughs> should we make sure that everything is on the up and up? We need to do that first. Yeah, yes. that's right. So Chris McFarlane. All right, Chris, let's get you right here. All right. Chris McFarland, Apostolate and Netterville. Netterville? Netterville, that's correct. So, Chris, what's the process? Just so we know, we're, you know, we're dotting all the I's and crossing all the T's. So our firm diligently checks the lists that are generated electronically against all of the tickets to make sure first, last names match, make sure we don't have any more or any less than 12,000 tickets going into the hopper over the course of the day. So that's a lot of responsibility though. Are you you're a little nervous about all this? Not really. We've been doing it for several years and we have a, a, we have a good team in place. There's uh, several other people here besides me in the back um, who have helped to, um, to make this happen. And of course I do have to ask, I mean, you guys have done this for a number of years now. What makes you guys do this? Because you don't have to. That is correct, but one of our firm's core values is to be united with the community and what better cause than St. Jude. Yep, awesome. Chris McFarland, we appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, so look at those. Yeah, you can tell they're real because, go ahead. Yeah, there that's you why go. they're real. Yeah. So what happens to these now? <laughs> these are gonna go in the hopper. These are the last few of the tickets on sale prize, which is the $2,500 American Express gift card sponsored by the UPS store. <clears throat> And these are for tickets that were purchased before March 22nd of this year from the day the tickets went on sale. By the way, fun fact, Chris taught Katie uh, in uh, school. He did. <laughs> Best student, right? Yes. 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 He hesitated, though, so I think we have a bit of truth there. So our, uh, our ticket spinners are highly trained, right, Brian? <laughs> As of 15 minutes ago, right? Okay, so what's this prize, Katie? All right, so this is for the $2,500 American Express gift card that was courtesy of the UPS store. All right. So, All right, you guys ready? So, we're about to get things going. Good folks of Hampton Toyota here. Uh -huh. A lot of our St. Jude families. All right. All right. Let's get I'm going to scooch over here. One ticket. All right, are you going to do this? You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, uh -huh. let me get out the way. There we go. Okay, reach in there. No, not that one. That one's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, this is important. This is very important. I love the way he's sizing this up. Is it, you're looking for feel, printing, t look, okay. I'm looking for the house. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go, there we go, there we go, all right. Okay, now can you read that or do you need to hand that over to somebody? What do you think? You wanna hand that? Chris, you wanna help him out with this? You did great, by the way. It is Janice Holloway of Lake Charles. Janice, Janice Holloway of Lake Charles. Congratulations. A 25, thank you buddy, a fine job. I, see, you saw how he thought it through? <laughs> yeah. He could work very with you guys, because you, <laughs> you guys are very meticulous. Yes, that is right, that is right. He would be a great asset. Okay, get the uh, application in before the end of the hour. Okay. <laughs> well good, thank you okay. Chris very All much. Right. We'll hear more from Chris, so what's next? So now we're gonna have to look at that big prize. Oh. The dream home. Oh. We've brought you guys so many stories because this is why you know we're here because they help the kids of St. Jude every single year. We have shown you the dream home. It is a beautiful home. It is. Someone is going to win that home, but no matter who wins that home, you guys are all winners. We're gonna go out to Daniel Phillips right now. 
Well, guys, we're live here, 101 Royal Palms Drive. We've got the latest dream home behind us now. Brian McLean, another absolute masterpiece. Tell us a, tell us a little bit about the home. Run, run through what, what they're going to find when they go inside. Well, this year's house is more of a farmhouse style. Uh, it's very large, 3,400 square feet, four bedrooms, four and a half baths, great outdoor living, swimming pool, incredible master suite. Uh, a lot of the people who toured the home this year said it was our best work, and uh, it really makes us proud to be able to be a part of Acadiana and, and do this for the kids at St. Jude. It's a, a beautiful home. The, the attention to detail is, is exquisite, as always. And what were some of the things that you pulled inspiration from when, from when you were designing the house? Well, I got with Jared Abair, who is the designer, and we gave him just some ideas to start from, you know, the kind of look and feel we wanted on the house. And at the end of the day, it takes a great team to make a house look like this. I mean, we're just one part of it as the builder. I mean, we have great designers, great corporate sponsors. I mean, it goes on and on to make it as beautiful as it turned out. So uh, I think the inspiration actually was from the whole group as we had several meetings, yes. Uh, the, the house is just one part of, of what we're trying to do today and uh, the, the big reason for all this is St. Jude and, and talk really quickly because we, we got to wrap here soon but really quickly about how important it is to, to be a part of St. Jude and, and to help give back. Well it's been our 10th year so that tells you something we've been in it for the long haul and uh, we've seen the needle move on the cure rate and it just means a lot to our company and our family and uh, we're very proud to be a part of this. Mr. McLean, thank you so much. We're going to send it back to the studio now, but we're going to be live at the house through the rest of the morning. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Daniel. Everyone's excited to see who's going to win this year's home, but there's a bigger effort behind this giveaway to help the children of St. Jude, including one from right here in Acadiana. Four-year-old Maverick Schwarzenberg is just your average kid. Sword fights with his little brother, car racing around the room. The Schwarzenbergs' lives are surrounded by laughing, chaos, and most of all, fun. But three years ago on New Year's Eve, the laughing stopped. Well, we thought it was a common bug. He caught her the flu-like symptoms, like Stevie said, uh, daycare. He wasn't feeling good. He was very lethargic, and he was pale at that time, very pale and just not himself, even Christmas morning like most kids. Just a few hours after going into the hospital with what Maverick's parents thought was the flu, they were getting into an ambulance and making the six-hour journey to Memphis, Tennessee. He basically said you have three hours to pack your bags, plan on being there for several months. To add to the stress, Stevie and Michael had a younger child at home, and Stevie, well, she was 32 weeks pregnant with their third child, a little girl who would be born while in Memphis while Maverick was receiving treatment at St. Jude. It was like I had two out of my three kids that were relying on support and help right now, and so it was, it was a lot at once, but... Uh, we knew that we just we needed to get through it, and St. Jude was going to be the place to help us do that. Over the next two years, Maverick went through treatment. Some days were better than others, but every day was one step closer to becoming cancer-free. St. Jude has um, given him his life back. Yeah. <laughs> happy tears. Yeah, happy, <laughs> tears. <laughs> happy tears compared to the unknown tears 14, 15 months ago. But we're in a good place. Now at four, Maverick can finally say that he's living without cancer. Now that doesn't mean that treatment stops. He still has a ways to go with those, but he can start to live a more normal life. We're excited, now, yeah. Well, every, every week Maverick makes an X on yeah. our little book, so we have our, our, our weeks left so he understands timeline. And he gets it. He knows his blood was sick, but his blood's not sick anymore. We're just treating the, the cells within his blood that could make him sick again, and that's for him to understand this. He's not a sick kid anymore. We're just treating the, 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 the hidden blood cells. While the Schwarzenbergs continue to keep a watchful eye on their eldest child, they see their old Maverick returning and will forever be grateful for everyone at St. Jude and Acadiana who continue to show support by helping those who need it most. So Maverick, four more crossed off of that calendar? Yeah? Yes, ma'am. That's pretty awesome. Cruising right along. Oh, I love that. You know, we, when we spoke to you guys, it was a few months ago, um, you know, he was finally kind of being able to kind of get back to a normal life or what, you know, would be considered a normal life. 
How has that been kind of now, like being able to play with friends and those kind of things? Well, I'd say he's pretty tired right now because we've been playing all morning <laughs> like a normal kid in the yes. backyard in the heat of the summer. But uh, compared to where we were 18 months ago, oh, yeah. it's an absolutely wonderful feeling. Yeah. And, you know, we talk so much, and you guys have talked so um, highly about St. Jude mm -hmm. and everything that has happened. I mean, because for you guys, it was a whirlwind, you know. I mean, it, it was one of those, he may have the flu, you bring him in, it's cancer. Okay, ambulance, Memphis. But they were there for you guys. Completely, completely. We, we would not be where we are today without them, that is for sure. Yeah, our journey was one that no, no parent wishes to ever have to go through. But, you know, as we talked about in the interview, happy tears yeah. these days compared to where we were at that time. But, uh, you know, it happens. Yeah. It happens. It could happen to anybody in the world. Yeah. You never oh, know. Yeah. And uh, we were the ones chosen for a reason, but we're in a good place right now. All right. Yeah. So for Maverick's future, where is he going now? He's going to start school soon, right? We get to like, start school in August, so we're super excited about that. Dri um, driving over here, he was. we, we drove by the uh, football stadium, the Raging Cajun over there, and he said, Daddy, is that the Tigers? I said, no, that's the Raging Cajun. <laughs> but I said, we might be able to go see a football game this year, actually. So yes. we're excited about, like you said, a sense of normalcy and cruising right along. 60 more weeks of treatment ahead of us, but mm -hmm. we're right where we need to be. But y'all are, re are ready for it. Yes, we yeah. are. We're definitely ready, and we are excited that we we are in the latter part of our treatment, so we get to back, be back into the normal realm of reality. Starting so. kindergarten in a few short weeks, yes. which we're excited about. Yes. That's going to be awesome. And, you know, and we, we talk so much about how much St. Jude does for the kids, right. but really the whole family, because you were 32 weeks pregnant. You guys had another child at home. Yes. Like, I mean, I, I couldn't even imagine, like, well, you could, but, you know, yeah. they were there for you guys. Oh, yeah, completely. I mean, they not only just help the patient, they help the entire family. Um, with any, any kind of needs that you need at the time to uh, get you where you need to be. Um, we had a house here in Lafayette, but we had to live in Memphis um, for about six months. So they put us up in an apartment. I had a baby up there. Yeah. <laughs> they helped us um, provide for our new child. Plus we had a middle child. Mm -hmm. um, so there was three of us. Um, three kids that they helped us with so yeah. it was wonderful awesome well thank you guys so much for being here today thank you guys for sharing your story and Maverick you got a whole future ahead of you little boy you want to say yeah. something to the microphone you want to say something you know you do come on you're on TV tell brother, <laughs> tell, tell brother and sister hi back home now you're gonna be shy now he's yeah. gonna be shy yeah <laughs> he does that sometimes so he's not shy though we know this <laughs> but he will get shy sometimes we do know that we sold out, and thank you, Acadiana, for all that you have done um, in getting us to that point to send all of this money to St. Jude, but they still need donations. And for that, we're going to head over to Scott Brasta, who is in the phone bank. You know, they need to get those phones ringing, Scott. Good afternoon, Katie. And of course, you know, I love hearing those amazing stories, the, the St. Jude families. And having visited the hospital well over 20 years, it's great to see, you know, we show that video, the evolution of the hospital. And it, it's an ongoing mission. So there are changes and the hallways change and the colors change. The mission never changes. 1-800-724-1918, 1-800-724-1918. While we are sold out of tickets, we have a phone bank here and some great folks who have given up part of their Sunday to accept donations and some well wishes. So 1-800-724-1918, your donations, you know, tickets alone don't get it done. Phone calls and donations make it go each and every day. It costs money. And your donations allow these St. Jude families to come in and be treated by this amazing staff and these great researchers and great doctors at no cost to them, no cost whatsoever. You know, you get to St. Jude and say, you take care of your children, we will take care of everything else. So 1-800-724-1918, 1-800-724-1918. Give these folks a call, a donation to St. Jude. Oh my gosh, you will definitely work wonders. Now, we've been giving away a few prizes and uh, you know, prize number two coming up here, the Gator Tail. This is an amazing vessel. And you wanna hear a story about a guy that didn't think maybe St. Jude would ever really come into his life and why he should get involved. Let's take a look, a preview of this year's Gator Tail Prize. We've been uh, uh, donating to St. Jude. There's at least 20 years, maybe 22 at the most, uh, ever since uh, my wife and I uh, got married uh, or even met. That young man is Frank Brove Erath. And as he said, he and his wife Amanda have indeed been longtime supporters of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis. A dream home ticket, perhaps even an early bird dream home ticket purchase, is a very simple way 
to make a difference in the life of a child battling a catastrophic disease. Helping the kids, uh, there's just, you know, they're suffering. They're, they're, they're living their, their life day at a time. And, uh, you know, when you just think about it, uh, you kind of get that idea uh, that, you're, that you have a small fraction uh, of a token that you could help these kids. Last year about this time, Frank and his wife became the proud owners of this a wonderful gator tail boat and trailer package. They were on their way back from Biloxi when they received a phone call. He says, man, you just want a boat. I'm like, what are you talking about a boat? I didn't register for a boat. Uh, he says, yeah, man, the St. Jude dream home. You just want a boat. I'm like, there's no way. There was a way and the boat became theirs. The boat right here, in fact, has already made a few duck hunts. The bros always buy an early bird ticket. And while last year the prize, Frank Bro was quick to remind us that it's really all about a bigger picture. Helping kids and helping families, many of them our own, receive a little hope. You're doing it for a good cause. It's not just winning a boat or a house. or uh, it's, it's about helping somebody else that needs it. All right, guys. So it is that time. I mean, I think this is probably one of like the best prizes that people like and it love is, it and is it's yeah it's pretty, pretty awesome. darn phenomenal awesome all right Chris. i'll give you the specs again 2019 gator tail gator series boat motor and trailer package courtesy of gator tail and these are the last of 2103 tickets that are being added to the hopper for the early bird prize mm -hmm. And also of note, Janice Holloway's ticket is going to go back in because she's eligible for this too. That's right. right. I mean, Perfect. conceivably, possibly, she, she could, could win like everything. Yeah, yeah you're right. All right. Get All right. That Are you going to do this again? Okay, can you want to? You can pull it. All right. That's just a great sound, isn't it? Is, it, it is. It is. All right, we make sure right, there's one stuck up there. We'll loosen that one up. You got it. There we go. Reach back there. Oh, Scott Brass. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. For the Gator Tail. No. Yolanda Roy from Lafayette. Yolanda, Yolanda Roy, Roy from Lafayette. Congratulations. The 2019 Gator Tail. You did a fine job, by the way. Nice job. All right. <laughs> so, Yolanda Roy, you have a Gator Tail. The 2019 Gator Tail. That's all yeah. right. You're going to be the envy of everyone in your neighborhood. You're going to have friends you didn't know you had. <laughs> exactly. Folks that had gone out of your life and now are back in. Yeah. All right, let's tell you some more St. Jude stories because we, you know, uh, that's why we're here. <laughs> it's been more than 10 years since Casey Francois walked through the doors of St. Jude beating cancer twice and coming out on top each time. Like many St. Jude patients, Casey Francois was young when she was diagnosed with leukemia, just three. She beat it, but at nine, it came back. Things started happening again. I started acting weird. I had a lot of anxiety. So we ran some more tests, and after nine weeks of doing tests, they found out that I had relapsed. I went back to St. Jude and treated for another two years. Today, Casey is crossing different hurdles, running cross country and track while maintaining a 4.0 and making a perfect score on her pre-ACT. This despite getting a slower start to her childhood. So I feel like I definitely did have to work hard in order to get where I am and to be kind of catch up with the others since I didn't have that. But at the same time, I do feel like having gone through what I went through, it made me mentally stronger. Casey says thanks to St. Jude, she lives a pretty normal life. I'm so lucky because I can, I go to school every day. I spend time with my friends and my family. You know, we go camping at our camp in Toledo Bend. I run track and cross country every day, running, doing weights. <laughs> um, I'm in other clubs like service organizations and I do a lot of fundraising. So it's just, you know, despite all that, I feel like I live a pretty normal life. While her time at St. Jude is less frequent as her health continues to improve, Casey will always be thankful for those who stood by her side every step of the way, shaping the person that she's becoming. And we're here with Casey. I mean, just such an amazing story. Um, you know, your future is so bright and you have all these things going on. 
but really, and it's because of the help of St. Jude and where you've gotten today. It definitely is. Without St. Jude, like, I don't even know if I'd be here today, much less in this good of a condition. Like, the fact that I've been able to run track and cross country despite all that and everything that I had to go through, like, I never thought that was something I could do. I never thought I'd be able to excel in athletics and this, and even school and just everything. Yeah, because you know, we have to let people know, like you're in the gifted program. You, your mom told me that you scored perfect on your pre-ACT. Like, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you actually want to go into what field? I want to go uh, into the medical field and do something in oncology, either like research or something with like psychology and oncology, like mix and like the effects on patients and like making it so that they're not as anxious or depressed about everything they're going through. And kind of like, you know, take people, get, I guess, through that time that you were at St. Jude. I mean, because you um, went in at three, you had to go back at nine. But, you know, do you think that that's kind of shaped kind of who you are today? I definitely think it has. Um, I don't remember much from whenever I was three, but it's still like, I remember growing up, I always kind of would still talk about it with my friends because they all just couldn't believe it. But then once I was nine and it happened again, I was a lot more, I realized what was happening a lot more. And that's whenever I kind of decided that I had to use it, what I was going through to make a difference in the same thing for other kids and other people. So, you know, we know that there are some kids out here, out there today that are listening to your story. They're watching you and they see what you've become. What advice would you like to give them that are going through what you went through? I would say it seems really tough, but you really have to stay strong and just remember that it gets better and the fight never ends. You know, once you get through it, I think it's really important to help others through it too. And so just stay involved, stay strong, keep your head up. All right. Thank you so much for being here this morning. And, you know, thank you for sharing your story. I know you share it with us every year, but, you know, it's nice to see you grow every single year. Thank you. All right, guys, now we're going to head over to Scott Brazda because uh, I think it's time to talk about that car. Yeah, time yeah. to talk about that car, right, Katie? 2019 Toyota Camry LE donated by Hampton Toyota and the Dream Day Foundation. Jamie, you want to say anything? No. No, okay. <laughs> I was just checking. I just wanted to make sure because, you know, you, people get caught up in the TV moment, the St. Jude moment, and suddenly they want to talk, right? Right. Right. Okay. So, all right, Brian LaLoup, Hampton Toyota, you know, you guys have, have come in and uh, it's an amazing prize. Give me the specs on this car. Well, it's a 2019 Toyota Camry. It's a gorgeous red color. I had the pleasure of driving it over to the house, and you're sitting there, and it's powerful, and it's quiet, and it's like you're in this little cocoon of awesomeness. And you thought for a second of just keep driving, but you decided to come to Toyota. Yeah, and, and then I get to go back and clean it and every now and then, and I think, you know, I could really use one of these because mine is, I have a Toyota. It's 13 years old, and I still love it, and I get it, and it's awesome, but it's not a 2019, and I Man, it's a nice car. And Brian, before we draw it, uh, I always like to ask companies because we get so many generous folks in the Acadiana area helping out. You guys don't have to do this. You have enough going on at Hampton Toyota, yet you continue to show up for St. Jude. I mean, this is an amazing prize, right? Why do you guys do this? I mean, how can we not? I mean, you love it. I Where love can you answer. do something that you give such a little, you give a little bit, but it's such a, a picture, a part of such a bigger picture. Yeah. You know, we all, if you have kids and, and, you know, your child is sick and, you know, there's only so much you can do and you get to that point where I, I just, I don't know what to do. I need help. Well, this is your chance to help someone else who needed help. You know, how can you not do that? I love that answer. I love that answer. Jamie, did he say it right? He did good. Okay, very good. All right, let's mix up. We've got tickets. We've got another, how many, Chris? This is the last of about... 5,200 tickets that are eligible for the bonus prize, the the, the car from uh, Hampton. And I'm also going to add back Yolanda Roy's ticket. Uh, Yolanda? Because she's eligible. It's possible. Okay. And these were, tickets, these were tickets purchased by June 14th. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's mix it up again. This is for that wonderful car, 2019 Toyota Camry LE, donated by Hampton Toyota and the Dream Day Foundation. Mark and Fran Hampton, the Hampton family, the extended family, you know, all of the Hampton guys. Look, he's already, he's working the hopper as well. Not only have they donated a car, not only have they worked in the phone bank. Uh, you've got some amazing folks there, Brian. We really do. I think we have some of the best people at Hampton Toyota that I've ever worked with. Well, there you go, that's high praise. All right, are you gonna do this again? You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, okay, let's go. 
Now remember, it's only an hour-long show, so you can. <laughs> All right, here we go. He's grabbing. He's looking for one. He's looking for one. Way deep. You got it. You got it. All right. All right. Chris, make sure it's all in the up and up. Yes, and it is Ramon Contreras of Youngsville, Louisiana. Ramon Contreras of Youngsville. <laughs> Mr. Contreras, you have won a Toyota Camry. That's pretty nice. Nice job there, Brunt. Thank you, sir. We love doing it. All we right. Really do. Congratulations. Okay. Let's go to that home because, you know, conceivably Ramon could win the car and this beautiful house. Let's go to Daniel Phillips. Daniel, out of the St. Jude Dream Home. Dan? All right, guys. We're live at the Dream Home early on this uh, Sunday afternoon. We've got Miss Kelsey from St. Jude. We're going to be drawing here in a minute. Miss Kinley is going to be pulling the, the winner here. And then we've got Miss. Tracy from Assurance Financial, and you're one of the sponsors of, uh, of one of the prizes. And, and talk a little bit about why it's so important to you guys to help try and give back to the, the St. Jude organization. Right. Um, so we're the $5,000 open house prize sponsor. It's a $5,000 Visa gift card. Assurance Financial is a locally owned and operated, mor operated mortgage company. And basically, we help people buy homes just like this one. And we wanted a way to give back, um, not only on the corporate level, but on the local level as well. And we thought, what a great partner it would be to uh, to help out the families of St. Jude. And it's certainly, it, it's such a great cause and you can just see from all the names that are in there, all of the, the generous givers and, and all those tickets and everything that you guys have done to, to help out this wonderful organization and so to give back. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll draw that prize. Ms. Kinley, if you'd like to go in there and, and pull a name, please. And the lucky winner is, And a big congratulations to Andrea Bouillon from Youngsville, Louisiana. I hope I pronounced your last name right. We're going to be contacting you. Congratulations, you are the winner of a $5,000 Visa gift card. We're going to be staying here at the house through the remainder of the afternoon. We're going to send it back to the studio. Again, congratulations, Miss Andrea. Bye. All right, thanks, Daniel. Well, Luke was just a toddler when he was diagnosed with lymphoblastic leukemia. But today, he's living his best life, cancer-free and growing stronger every day. Just last year, Luke Osborne was racing his way to the finish line. With the assistance of his walker, but these days, the walker is gone, and Luke is doing it on his own. It's, it's a true miracle. Um, nobody understands, you know, what it's like to go through... Um, you know, unless you've had a child who's gone through a potentially fatal illness. At two, Luke and his family made the journey to St. Jude. Shauna, his mother, pregnant with Luke's little sister. While it was a scary time for the family, St. Jude made sure that every need was met. They don't charge you a dime. You never see a bill. And they, I was five months pregnant when I went there. And they even asked if I needed help finding, you know, help with the, the pregnancy, if they, need, if they needed help me find a doctor there. Uh, I mean, any support that they had, they offered and they gave us, and uh, so it was wonderful. Now six, Luke is racing through life, straight out of chemo and stronger than cancer. To hear the words cancer was, was life shattering, and then to hear cancer free is, is just, I mean, it's, it's like heaven, you know, it's like, it's, it's miracles. Miracles happen there. Despite all Luke has gone through, the chemo, medication, that sweet smile has never once faded. Today, it's bigger than ever. It hasn't affected his personality one bit. And, um, I mean, everything he's been through, I mean, he's still just so full of life and so full of energy. And, and we love him. We love it. With the support of his family and St. Jude, Luke will continue his journey through life one step at a time. Oh, Shauna, like, Luke, you are the sweetest little boy ever. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, you are. So what are you doing this summer? Oh, I'm just going to play video games on my daddy's computer. Oh, well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh-huh. 
Yeah. And if you didn't know, the people that are here, thank you, did save my life. Yeah, and they yeah. did save your life. You know, Shauna, when you, oh, shut that little smile, when you uh, see him and like how far he's come. It's, uh, it's been an incredible journey to, uh, from diagnosis to not knowing and uh, to this point now to looking forward to just watching him grow up. Uh, knowing that it's because of St. Jude and all of the people who have donated uh, to St. Jude. Uh, without those donations and that help, St. Jude wouldn't exist and my son would not be here today. Yeah. So you know, we are forever grateful. You know, and we take it back um, to the first time that you guys went, you were also pregnant mm -hmm. with your daughter. Yes, um, so not only do they take awesome care of these kids, they take awesome care of the families too. Yes, absolutely. Um, we, we never had to worry about anything. I mean, we walked in and it was open arms all the way and, uh, you know, whatever we needed and, you know, whatever was going on, whatever situation, they were quick to step in and help out. And, uh, and it was mm -hmm. just, it was just amazing. Yeah. Whatever they had, uh, they gave and we never saw a bill. And um, that was amazing because I was able to f just focus on him and uh and have that time with him you know and uh it was it was a very special time for us and it changed our lives for the better seeing him now you know going uh -huh. for where he had the walker and he was learning how to do all of these things again to uh -huh. to now i mean look at him uh he's just <laughs> he's amazing <laughs> and he's a ham um he it's just He's come so far in such a short period of time, and a lot of that has to do with him. Mm -hmm. You know, he's just full of personality. <laughs> no, we couldn't tell. And um, <laughs> and he just, you know, he's the one that pushes. And, you know, we just, know. we're there for his journey, and we walk along with him, and we are just so blessed to be his parents. And, uh, you know, he's the one that does it all, you know, and, and that's just, we're blessed. We're truly uh -huh. blessed. All right, Luke. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you back in this chair again next year. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you very much. All right. All right, guys. So now we are going to head back out to Daniel Phillips, who is in a beautiful dream home that someone is going to win pretty shortly. Hey, Daniel. Guys, still at the dream home here. We're in the kitchen now. It's my favorite room of the house. Uh, usually I've got Miss Christy from Bosch who's with us running through some of these appliances. Last year, the espresso machine made it into the home and I see that it is back it in the is. new home. Run through it some is. of the stuff that we have here. Definitely. I must say though, Sylvia and Brian nailed it again. This house is absolutely beautiful. As you can see, the kitchen is laid out beautifully. Uh, it has two wonderful islands. But yeah, for the appliances, this is our espresso machine, which it can make anything from a cappuccino to a latte to a regular coffee espresso. It even does hot water um, for your tea drinkers. So pretty much it gives you the whole gamut. It's like having a full coffee system in your kitchen. Um, we do have a wonderful microwave drawer here for any of your microwave needs. Um, we have right behind you, what this is, is actually a speed oven. Um, it can be used as a microwave, as a standard oven, or even as a broiler. So you can use it many different ways. It's a great addition to a kitchen. You don't want to do a full double oven. You can do something like this, where it'll capture the microwave ability and the wall oven. Now I noticed that there's because there's three different setups. Are these all? They all serve different functions, or are they, they all do. kind of the same? They do. So this is our side swing oven. Um, this says a convection option. Um, it has some really nice ball bearing racks inside. Um, it does convection. It does pizza. You name it. It'll it'll do it. Um, then down here, what you'll see is our steam oven. Um, you can do anything from steaming veggies to fish. You can do, you can cut the steam completely off um, and just use it as a standard oven. Uh, it's great for reheating. We have our nice 36 inch cooktop with our downdraft right here. And then if you see on this side right here, we have our built-in refrigeration. Um, we have our 30 inch here and our 18 inch here, making it a full 48 inches of refrigeration. And really, really quick, we gotta go to studio soon. Why is it so important for, for you guys to get back to, to St. Jude like this? We joined forces about two years ago with St. Jude and it's just been a great partnership. Um, it's 
it's wonderful watching these homes go up and then finally seeing the final product. And I mean, just walking around, it is beautiful. I'm, it just, it's so rewarding for us as a company and for the kids and anyone and everyone that's walking through St. Jude right now. And another great, beautiful home. We're going to be here through the, the rest of the afternoon. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Daniel. So he's having a good time over there. Oh yeah. Well, you're Wait, at the dream home. I know, okay. right? Well, we we were able to um, cook with some of those appliances. Sorry, guys, we kind of broke them in for you. They're pretty awesome. It's all quality control. <laughs> Just making awesome. sure it works. Okay, <laughs> so we have four prizes to draw, but more tickets to put into the hopper. Chris McFarland back from Postlewhite and Netterville. Now, Chris, while you do that, I'm going to walk behind you, and you can do that and talk at the same time, but. All right, so you taught Katie algebra? Oh, no, no. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that brings up a bunch of questions. Um, what kind of uh, algebra student uh, was she? A good one. She was a good student. My I mom's have to give watching. Her that. I'm a good one. <laughs> I have to give her that. She, uh, she was very talkative, which... No. So I'm not surprised no. that this is the career she chose, no. but she was a good student. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm also going to add Ramon's ticket back what? into the hopper. So we now have all 12,000 tickets in the hopper. And we'll start drawing for those ancillary prizes after we spin. And we will right. spin each time before, between yes, the four we're prizes. Gonna have spins. That's, we're going to spin between each one of the drawings. All right, so one more about Katie, uh, Chris. So, Katie in algebra class, did you say she's going to make a good reporter? Thank God algebra isn't going to be her career? No, I didn't. No, I did not. She actually had better grades um, than some of the other students in the class. So, I can't, I can't say that I didn't think, she, didn't, didn't think that she wasn't good at math. I just knew that she was going to have a career where she would speak a lot. <laughs> well, yes, that has come true. Okay, so ancillary prize number one. This is for couples stay and dine package, courtesy of Cypress Bayou Casino Hotel. Couples stay and dine package, courtesy of Cypress Bayou Casino Hotel. Right. Dylan, my man, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. Dylan, one of our former St. Jude, well, of course, once you're a St. Jude patient, yeah, they're going to take care of you for a good bit. Dylan and I grew up together. I watched as Dylan grew up, I grew east-west. And uh, so, Dylan, what do you got? I got John Lyons from Church Point, Louisiana. John Lyons from Church Point. All right. Nice. Very good. Okay. So, ancillary prize number two. The Artesso Articulating Kitchen Faucet with Smart Touch technology, which Katie has already made sure it works. Yes. Courtesy of Verizo. Artesso Articulating Kitchen Faucet with Smart Touch technology, courtesy of Verizo. See, it's great. You're giving away prizes. You're saving lives. Okay. Not as detailed and fine-tuned as Luke, but uh, okay. <laughs> what do we got? How do you say that? Teresa. Teresa, Teresa Traha from... Gaydon, Louisiana. Okay. Teresa Troja from Gaydon. Teresa Troja from Gaydon. You have the articulating kitchen faucet, okay? We lock it up. You have your prize list over there? Oh, oh, Jonah, I gave it to you, Scott. You gave it to me, huh? I thought we were sharing. <laughs> uh, next prize Beth Stark, original painting. An original painting by courtesy of Beth Stark. we go, another one of our great St. Jude families. We've got a Jamie Mesh from Scott, Louisiana. Jamie oh, Mesh from Scott, congratulations. The best start painting. Okay, and next up, oh, this is another just horrendous prize, don't you think? Dinner for a year, courtesy of Walk-Ons Bistro and Bar in Lafayette. Dinner for a year, courtesy of Walk-Ons. Oh my gosh. Are we sure that we can't win these, Scott Bradford? Are we positive? I've been told that we could enter, but it would look really funny if we won. It would. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> All right. We need a drawer. We need a drawer. Luke, Luke you're up you're again. You're really great at this. Yeah, Luke is the experienced <laughs> drawer. Of course, he does it all, you know, it takes a little while. He's very meticulous. Yeah, Luke, what are you, what are you reaching, what are you feeling? What are you looking for in a, in a, in a winning I'm ticket? I'm looking for the dream home. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I wonder if he wants to draw the dream home prize. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 All right, all Luke. Right. You got it? 
Okay. That one. All right. Hand that to Mr. Chris. <laughs> Chris, what do you and got? This is Jeffrey Mistrick of Lafayette, Louisiana. Jeffrey Mistrick from Lafayette. Well, congratulations. Walk ons for a year. That's okay. Uh, that's not a bad yep. prize. Very nice you know? job, Mr. Chris. And we will continue to spin and spin. And what do we got next? I think that's all four, right? Did we do? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay, so what's next? All right, so I think now every year we do take you on a tour of the St. Jude Dream Home. We yep. tell you about the number of bedrooms yep. and the bathrooms, the outdoor living space, everything that makes the home a dream home. But behind every house is a person and a St. Jude patient that inspires them. Annalise Arno was barely 18 months old when she was diagnosed with cancer. Annalise was diagnosed um, with hepatoblastoma tumor on her liver, which is a solid tumor. It was the size of a Coke can, and it actually spread to both of her lungs. And um, as far as that went, that was non-operable. So we had to depend on chemo alone and treatment to get rid of those tumors, or um, you know, she would really have no chance. But thanks to St. Jude, she got that chance. Annalise is now seven years old, but she's quick to tell you. You're turning eight in July. Are you excited? Annalise is living her best life. Today, cooking in the Dream Home Kitchen with one of her best friends. Annalise met Brian McLean at a St. Jude telethon one year. It was a chance meeting that would turn into a lifelong friendship. Mom, this is the first time I get to cook with Uncle, I mean, Mr. Brian. So if that doesn't say anything for you, um, her heart takes him as her own uncle. I mean, like, truly, like, we love these people more than, more than I could even put into words. For Brian and Sylvia McLean, they've been part of the St. Jude family for seven years, building dream homes in Acadiana and giving us something to look forward to each year. They truly have a special place in our heart, and we couldn't thank them enough for all they've done for our community and for our hospital. Now, while the home gets bigger and better every year, the message behind it stays the same, that no child should die in the dawn of life. We're here. We're just, you know, getting everything kind of situated. So um, you guys are with us whenever we visited with Annalise. You know, and she tells us this because, you know, Silva, you told me a really great story about how you guys met Annalise for the first time. Yes. You have to share the story okay. because, yes. So the, um, <laughs> the first time we met Annalise, it was really interesting. We were here at uh, the TV station, and I'm not sure if everybody knows what the whole TV station looks like, but there's um, a lot of area in the back that's just kind of big, wide open mm -hmm. spaces. And there was this little baby running around this pretty little white outfit. And I was standing in the back by the phone bank and the ESA ladies were back there working the phone bank. And this little baby was running up and down back and forth. And I, I didn't know whose child she was. We had never met her before. So I had my camera on and I was taking pictures. And so I snapped a few shots of her and she was running back and forth. And she saw Brian standing up on a little deck. Mm -hmm. and. She looked at him and uh, she, I thought, well, she thinks he's somebody else because right. she, she looked like she recognized him. And she started to go to him. And I thought, well, surely she's going to turn around and she didn't. So I snapped a few shots and she jumped up in Brian's arms and just gave him this big old loving hug. And the whole time I'm snapping pictures and she always, ever since that time, she would find Brian, she'd run to him and jump up in his arms. She was two years old at that time. And she still does that every time. And she thinks of you guys as aunt and uncle, yeah. which I think is so sweet. Um, uh, but you know, it's, you guys have done so much here in this community and for the community for St. Jude. I mean, the houses every year get bigger and better, but in the end, it's all for the kids, right? In the end, it's all for the kids, yeah. I mean, when I met Annalise, it was just amazing, so. We love doing it, 10 years of it, and um, we'll continue. Yeah, and there's a lot of other kids too, Katie, that, yeah. um, that we've met through the years as well that yeah. we have a relationship with too. Yeah. Well, we appreciate and thank you guys for everything that you do, and as do all of the families and all of the Kadiana. So thank, thank you guys you. so much. All right. All right, guys, so now we are, um, it started off as a simple headache, but those pains kept coming, and by the time Alexis Massa went for her yearly visit with her pediatrician, she knew she needed to speak up. It was that move that may have just saved her life. The oldest of five, Alexis Massa stays busy, running with her brother and sisters and helping her mom keep everyone in order. 
Now, while her siblings consider her the best big sis in the world, Alexis wears another hat, cancer survivor. And at that time, she was one of three, three pediatric patients with this tumor. It's normally found in geriatric patients. She was young, only 10 when the headache started, only a year older when doctors handed down the diagnosis. She had a tumor on her pituitary gland. Um, it was called a craniopharyngioma. And um, we immediately saw our local uh, pediatric oncologist and neurosurgeon. And um, this type of tumor is so rare that we weren't sure what the treatment plan was gonna be here. And um, insurance started denying tests that the doctors wanted to do here. Without hesitation, Andrea and Danny knew where they had to go. They spent the next few years in Memphis. They covered everything. They covered our travel, our, our meals. Um, even when we were in Florida, they, they helped us with everything. Now 15, Alexis is planning her future. I'm hoping that I could be in the vet field somewhere, whether it's a vet itself or just a vet tech or something like that. Yeah, she loves animals. <laughs> yeah. Today, though, she's focusing on something else, a chance to dress up like a princess and get the royal treatment. Alexis is heading to her first prom, and it's all because of St. Jude. It's, it's a blessing. As Alexis looks toward the future, her parents remain optimistic, knowing that St. Jude is in their corner, helping Alexis every step of the way. All right, let's check in on the phone bank, guys. 1-800-724-1918. 1-800-724-1918. Your donations, coupled with St. Jude Dream Home tickets, coupled with all the giving across the country, helps keep St. Jude going each and every day. Lives upon lives. Over a million dollars a day to keep this thing going. And to tell these families that, hey, you take care of your child, you hug your child, we will take care of everything else. No cost to the families. And St. Jude continues to work wonders. You guys continue to work wonders. Speaking of working wonders, this oh is my. the kiss up <laughs> section of our telethon. Um, Andrew Shankin, general manager of KTC. Now, Andrew, you came in and you know we had started the Dream Home already. You kind of inherited our Dream Home giveaway. What did you think when you walked in and you saw our first one? Well, Scott, I, I got to tell you, uh, when I first got here, I didn't really know much about uh, what we were doing with it. Right. But through the years and having been able to visit um, uh, the hospital and working with uh, what it's been a great, great crew here, um, I've learned a lot. Not only have we learned uh, a lot about uh, what we're doing uh, to help these families um, through, which is usually a tough time. Right. But having seen what's going on at, at St. Jude and, and the kind of care and, and, and the quality that, that I'm seeing, I'm so glad that we do do yeah. it. And, and now it's 24 years. We were just talking about yeah. that uh, before we came on the air here. Yeah, the first one on Digby Lane right by Como High. And now, gosh, the McLean's working wonders yet again. And it's truly a team effort. It's not Katie Lopez. It's not Scott Brazza, not Andrew Schenken. The whole station is behind all this. Well, really, it is. I mean, it takes a big crew to do it. Uh, not only the people who stand in front of the camera, the people who are behind the camera, people in production, but more importantly, it takes a great home and it takes almost this entire community to yeah. make this really work every year. And this year, no different than others, um, it will be another uh, success to the end of the campaign. And that's really what we're gonna celebrate is that these monies go to work right away uh, to help the families uh, that, uh, that St. Jude is trying to help. And once again, you guys out there in Acadiana, you've made this another sellout. And so we like to do nothing more than give away prizes and uh, save lives and maybe give away a nice house. I also like to say thank you to Acadiana. Every year, Acadiana yep. steps up. Their warm hearts and generosity is so appreciated here, not only here at KATC, but with our St. Jude families. Uh, the McLeans have brought forward right. another incredible oh, home. winner. So thank you uh, to Acadiana. It is deeply appreciated. Yeah. Yeah, I always like to say, you know, the week of, we have a few to sell, and we go, oh, my gosh. And then you go, Acadiana always shows up. They Thank always you. show up, yeah. All right, yeah. so what do you think? Is it that time? Uh, we have all of our tickets in. Oh, wait, yeah, we do have a few tickets to put in. in. Chris? In there. All right. These are the four ancillary prize winners, Jeffrey, Teresa, 
John and Jamie, their tickets are going back in. So there will be 12,000 tickets in the hopper. We have a one in 12,000 chance of winning the house. So put those odds in perspective, Chris. What does that really mean? Well, it's a much better chance of winning this house than perhaps winning Powerball or Mega Millions. Ah. There you go. And there is that definite winner that you're going to save a life. That is correct. Or you lives. Have, you have helped save children's lives by purchasing the $100 ticket. So we're going to, as it spins, we're going to turn over to one of our St. Jude patients uh, to, um, you kind of nervous? You're going to draw the winner of a house. Yeah. What That's, if I pick the wrong person? Well. Is that they, possible? No, I don't think it's possible because you're giving for, you're giving to a supporter of St. Jude. They have a good, you know, yeah, they'd like to win a prize, but I think they also know that they're going to help families, patients like yourself. Very true. So I think that kind of takes yeah. the edge off. No pressure. Yeah. Now, okay. if I guess if you trip and fall and somehow end up inside that, that, that could be a bit embarrassing. Maybe so, but yeah. Scott, I think I've done worse. This. She yeah, I think I've done this. got this? She's got this. Okay, yeah. well, Katie says so. I have faith in you. Thank you. Katie's yeah. algebra teacher is looking over her, so. <laughs> I mean, how could this possibly go wrong? I don't know. It could be gone. <laughs> so, the gorgeous house. Katie, you want to give final thoughts on this house that someone's about to win? You've no, been someone, there a bunch of times. Someone is about to, when we say dream home, the McLeans definitely come out. There's a home right there. It is a dream home. There's four bedrooms, there's four and a half bathrooms, there's a beautiful outdoors living space too. The master bedroom and bathroom, if you guys have seen it, you know that it is gorgeous. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better home. Well, and each year you go, well, the McLeans can't top this. No, but they can, but and they, they prove us wrong they, every yeah. single year. And yeah. keep, keep proving us wrong, please. We'd appreciate it. Yeah. All right. All right. So, all right. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. Okay. All right. So, the St. Jude Dream Home. He's digging deep. Yeah. Yep. Deep. All right. The winner of this year's St. Jude Acadiana Dream Home is Michael Munnerlin from Lafayette, Louisiana. Michael Munnerlin, Lafayette, Louisiana. Michael, you have won a gorgeous. A gorgeous house, and of course, you will save, help save thousands of lives in the Acadia area. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you, want, you want to read that name one more time, just to make sure? Michael Munnerlin from Lafayette, Louisiana. One more time. Michael Munnerlin. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Munnerlin from Lafayette, Louisiana. Again, congratulations, Michael. Fine job. You will get that to our chief accountant right here. Thank you, ma'am. Wow. <laughs> That home. Another house. Another house, yeah. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Acadiana, <laughs> you have continued to do this again. Another sellout, another amazing home for St. Jude. Your support, your love, your caring for all of these folks at St. Jude, all of the patients, and we have so many from the Acadiana area. 1-800-724-1918 for any kind of donation. But let's bring out this amazing check because of your donations, not only St. Jude Dream Home tickets, but Katie, what's that number? Oh my gosh, 1,301,430. Oh my gosh, y'all. Your this algebra is like, teacher's right know, behind you. He's making me nervous. One million. Yeah, 1,301,400. You're yeah, making me job. nervous, Chris. <laughs> y'all, this is amazing. Look at what you guys are gonna be sending to St. Jude to help these children. Wow. Okay, Nana, you care. Uh, you know, it's like Brian Lalo from Hampton said, you know, how can you not? How can you not give to St. Jude? Okay, Nana, thank you very much. $1,301,430. You have uh, knocked it out of the park again. Katie Anna, thank you very much mm -hmm. for the families, for the children of St. Jude from KATC. You done good, kids. Great job. and still donate 1-800-724-1918 because they still need your donations. You know, Acadiana, you've come out, you've done a great job, but again, they have to continue doing this 365 days a year. It's an ongoing process, yeah. you know, each and every day because, you know, it, it costs dollars. And, you know, these families come in and 
they hand you a binder of information and they say, here's about, here's, learn about your child's illness, but go ahead, get educated, hug your children, we will take care of all of your costs, all of your living expenses, all of your food, all of your travel. Focus on your child, hug your child, think good thoughts, and Acadiana, mmm, 1-800-724-1918, 1-800-724-1918. I see a phone being held up. We have the winner on the phone. Well, here, I'll well, hold, hold on. You go grab the phone, Katie. I'll hold the, the, <laughs> the check. All right. Okay, so shall we talk? So, yeah, let's go ahead. talk. So, what Hello. do you. Hi, how are you? How's it going? Well, I'm get my phone is going crazy because <laughs> <laughs> I want the St. Jude Dream Home. You have one of the St. Jude Dream Home. What do you think? Oh my God, I am speechless <laughs> right now. This is unreal. So did you I think mean, that people were joking with you, like, you know, pulling your leg or that you really won the home? Oh, I, well, when my friends from high school started texting me, I'm like, oh, wait, hold on. Wait, why are all these people calling me right now? <laughs> all right. Yes. So excited, I'm sure. I'm just completely shocked. This is unbelievable. So there's a big party at the Munnerlin home uh, <laughs> coming up pretty soon, right? Oh, uh, just which one? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we've seen the dream home, Mike, so we might as well just, uh, you know, pull the party all the way over to, uh, you know, to your new one, right? Uh, we'll have to, we'll, yeah, there's a lot to <laughs> He's like, I'm not really sure. How should I answer that one? <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> Well, congratulations, you have just won a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful home, and you have helped to save the lives of children at St. Jude. Oh, that's, this, is, this is unbelievable, this is awesome. Now, we can't wait to see Mike check out the new home, too. Yeah. Well, I think he might have been wait, inside wait. it already. I, I, yeah. I, I, I've been inside He's done a little work on it. Good job, Michael. Very good oh, job, wow. Mr. Munderland. Yes. Oh. Well, congratulations. Awesome. Oh, thank y'all very much. Thank you. I, I don't even know what to, what to say. I'm just, this, this is unbelievable. <laughs> That's what happens when you pay it forward, Michael. You've, you've done a lot for St. Jude. Well, yeah, this is house number 13. Yes, 100% so. donations. He's worked on the wow. house 13 years and donated everything. Oh, wow. So yeah. definitely a supporter yeah. of St. Jude. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, so the final tally, $1,301,430. Michael Munnerlin, you won the Dream Home, Acadiana. Thank you very much. Yeah.